In this video, we're gonna go over five very useful features that are new to iPadOS 15. Now we made an entire video around our first feature, all the new ways that you can multitask on iPadOS 15. And you can go ahead and click the card in the upper right corner to check that video out. But for a brief overview, there are new ways to access split views and slide over multitasking options. For starters, the ellipsis icon at the top of each app makes it easier than ever to jump between each mode and select any app for split view, slide over, or even just go back to one app for full screen. You can also drag and drop applications on top of one another inside of the app switcher view for even easier split view access. Apple also introduced a shelf to help manage multiple windows of the same application. And most of these new functions can all be accessed via a keyboard shortcut too. Just hold down the command key to view those shortcuts. Widgets are now finally available for your iPad's home screen, and there's even new larger widget sizes to help you take full advantage of the larger displays on these devices. There are also new widgets for Find My, Contacts, Game Center, the App Store, and even the Mail app. You can now drag and drop these widgets on your home screen just like you would on your iPhone by pressing down and holding on your home screen and then tapping the plus icon in the top left corner. From here, you'll see all of your widgets in various sizes with even more information available at your fingertips. Another feature implemented from iOS 14 that was much needed on the iPad is the inclusion of the app library. One thing that's iPad specific is that you can access your app library in the dock. It's in the bottom right corner and it kind of looks like a folder, but it's actually your app library. You can also access it the traditional way by swiping all the way to the right. When inside of app library, you can swipe down to see a full alphabetical vertical list of all of your apps that are on your iPad to really help find what you might be looking for. If you long press on your home screen, you can tap the page icons at the bottom to better manage your various home screen pages. I like to reduce the clutter of apps and save all of that for the app library. And so I'm so happy that this feature was added to iPadOS 15. Quick Notes has been added to the Notes app and it's available pretty much system wide. With your Apple Pencil or your finger, you can simply swipe from the bottom corner to start a quick note. You can also do this with a keyboard shortcut or from the control center. You can add text, links, mentions all inside of a quick note so that you can easily jot down anything that you might need quickly. Numbers, names, emails, etc. If you highlight text from an app like Safari or add a link, you'll see a quick note thumbnail appear the next time you visit that specific link. It will take you right to where you left off and these notes can all be viewed on your Mac or iPhone too. It's very convenient. There are also a few other new features added to notes like the ability to mention someone inside of a note, tag your notes for better organization and a new activity view to see what changes have been made to shared documents easily. And finally, Safari received a healthy update throughout all platforms, including iPadOS, and with it comes a few new features like the new redesigned tab bar, which now takes up less space at the top and adapts to the color of the web page that you're visiting. You can set up and manage your various tab groups to better organize the dozens of tabs that might be open at any given time on your iPad. And these groups and tabs sync across all of your devices as well. And also in Safari, there's now a new browser extension available for your iPhone and iPad. Just like you would install your favorite extensions on your Mac, you can now find these extensions for Safari on your iPad in the App Store. And these are just some of the new features that Apple added to iPadOS 15, but there are tons of other new features that Apple has implemented into this new update that we'll go over in a future video. So be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that video. This has been Dan with MacRumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.